Hello, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Hannah Fernandez and you're watching SCORE TV. SCORE is a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping small businesses across the United States get off the ground, grow, and achieve their goals through education and mentorship. So whether you are a small business owner who is just starting or you've been in business for a long time, our SCORE mentors could offer you free business mentoring and other resources for the life of your business. To connect with us, our website is chicago.score.org. You could also email us at info at scorechicago.org or you could call us at 312-353-7724. Today we're going to talk about how the Greater Southwest Development Corporation supports economic development in the city of Chicago. With me today is Christine James, also known as Tina, and she is the Director of Operations at the Greater Southwest Development Corporation. Tina, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. I'm so happy that you're here. So Tina, the Greater Southwest Development Corporation, or GSDC, you play a vital role in promoting economic opportunity in the city of Chicago. Can you tell us more about the organization? Absolutely. So Greater Southwest was established in the early 70s mm -hmm. as a way to combat against disinvestment in the southwest side. So we're located near Midway Airport yes. and our goal is to provide opportunities for the community to sustain and thrive. We do that through a variety of different means, but primarily we have three business units. So we do real estate development, mm -hmm. we acquire rehab and what I say repurpose property for community good. Yes. And in that case we have, for example, we own and manage 250 units of senior subsidized housing. And um, that's a way for us to invest in the neighborhood, but at the same time care for our seniors on yes. the southwest side. Um, our second business unit revolves around residential counseling. Mm -hmm. And so we provide counsel to local families when it comes to home ownership. We do first time home buyer classes, we do mortgage counseling and foreclosure counseling as well. And then our third business unit is commercial services. Mm -hmm. And it's our work around helping entrepreneurs such as, such as SCORE does yes. to get started or for established business owners and even large manufacturers to work in the city of Chicago, to take advantage of its programs and services, but as well find employees, train those employees, and then just understand uh, business acumen and get a little better at what they do every day. Fantastic. Yeah. You are doing a lot of amazing stuff in the city of Chicago. So, Tina, what is your background and can you tell us your role at GSDC? Absolutely. Um, so I'm Canadian born. Wow. Um, I've been living in Chicago for almost two decades. Nice. So part of Canada. Thank you. I, I live, I, I was raised in a small town outside of Toronto, just inside the province of Ontario. Cool. And I came to the United States to go to college. Mm -hmm. And my husband fell in love, you know, we got married, had a bunch of kids, and found ourselves in Chicago. Wow. And I had the opportunity to come and work at Greater Southwest as a volunteer, helping with some residential programs they had, which led to my opportunity to come on staff full-time, and I've been there about a decade. Um, my role at Greater Southwest has changed, therefore, over time. Mm -hmm. um, I come to Greater Southwest because I am passionate about supporting the community that my family lives in, that we worship in, that my kids attend school in. Um, they've all graduated now, but over the time, you know, it's been a passion of mine to stay local. Yes. And so uh, I can walk to work. I know a lot about a lot of my neighbors Fantastic. know where I am and can reach me for advice and for support. Um, and so I'm happy about that. You know, I started in the agency as a volunteer working with residents. I then began working with um, small businesses around learning more about technology, adopting technology in their business, uh, whether it's software, hardware, using the internet, things like that. Mm -hmm. And then as I became more familiar with the work of supporting businesses and all of that, I was able to do more and more when it came to one-on-one -on -one counseling and support with small business owners. And so now, just because of my passion in the community, my commitment to the agency and the work we do, I have the opportunity as Director of Operations to have my hand in all the different departments that I've described, mm -hmm. um, supporting all of the staff and all the work that we do. 
uh, try, try to stabilize the community sure. and grow and make sure that we all have a thriving place to live. You know, as a local resident, that's something right. that's really important to me, uh, that the community that we work in is a community that I live in, and so our goals are very much aligned. Thank you so much for doing that. I mean, the community is really fortunate to have somebody like you so passionate. Thanks. And so um, for those who are watching us right now, can you tell us where is GSCC located and what neighborhoods is your work making a big impact? Sure. So the agency's main office is the corner of 63rd Street and Rockwell, which is just west of Western, okay. and it's nestled inside the community of Chicago Lawn. So we're the southwest side of the, of the city. If you're unfamiliar, it's close mm -hmm. to Midway Airport. Mm -hmm. We service, however, the agency is quite large in our service area. We service 10 different wards across the south side, mm -hmm. basically the uh, city limits on the west to the Dan Ryan Expressway on the east. The Stevenson Expressway on the north and about 87th Street on the south and a lot of different neighborhoods in between that. Primarily Chicago Lawn, Gage Park, West Lawn, West Elsden uh, are our target areas for the bulk of our work mm -hmm. but we do stretch into a lot of other neighborhoods as well. Got it and who does GSCC support? I mean who is impacted specifically by the programs that you offer? Very good. So as I said, we have three different business units primarily, and of course, uh, the work that we do, therefore, you know, supports um, several different types of folks in our community, yes. several different stakeholders. So uh, the senior programs and the, the actual apartments are obviously for our seniors, which is a great support for families, generally speaking. Um, again, we have 250 units, so we have more than that seniors in and out of our facility every year, about 300 seniors every year. Um, we have the opportunity to serve. Then in our um, residential counseling division, mm -hmm. again, we work with local homeowners. So moms and dads, as they figure out, how am I going to purchase a home or keep my home? And we have the opportunity through uh, a bit larger ge geograph ge geography. <laughs> you know the word. I know. <laughs> um, then just Chicago and West Lawn, we are able to provide counsel to those families when they're deciding whether or not they're ready to purchase a home or if they need some supports to keep that home because life has changed yes. since they first received it. Um, and so then again, homeowners would be our primary target. But in the, the commercial services, our goal is to provide support to anyone that has a dream mm -hmm. through those folks who are willing and wanting to take on a new dream, so maybe buy a business from someone they worked for for a long time, or to those manufacturers, for example, who are picking up the family legacy, or they've been in business a really long time, they're well established, they have several employees, and just want to take on a new procurement opportunity, or they want to understand how to better interface with a particular department in the city hall or state government. And, and so, those are really much needed programs because I'm sure, you know, somebody out there is thinking, mm -hmm. I didn't know these support and resources existed. So, um, you know, I'm so glad that we're actually here sharing that. Thank you. Well, it's our goal to make sure that people get the services that they need. And so, mm -hmm. you know, in this conversation, I think most relevant is our work with commercial services and small business community. And so our goal there is to be very present and available so that small businesses can drop into the office anytime, you know, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, someone is there. And you can drop in and have a conversation, ask a question, or you can sign up for more robust supports. Fantastic. And then there's lots of other opportunities too. Gotcha. And, and I really see your, your true passion and I see the work that you do out there. So why? What is your why? Why do you support small business development and what inspires you to continue doing this work, you know, year after year? Yeah. Well, I mean, I believe in small businesses. I believe they are the backbone of our communities, particularly of our neighborhoods in Chicago. I think that it is the moms and dads who have an idea and bring it to fruition in a business. They're the ones who are providing a strong level of foundations for the rest of us yes. who live and take advantage of services and, and um, retail options within our community, not to mention great eateries. Um, I also think that small businesses, as you know as well as I do, they provide most of the employment in this country. And so, 
you know, I'm really passionate about my community having these kinds of opportunities. My neighbors being able to work or realize their dreams or share their passions around um, a skill set they have or something that they just really enjoyed or received much benefit from and being able to pass that on. And I do it every year. I keep doing it every year because I still live there, you know. Mm -hmm. And I've had the opportunity to walk with some folks to realize their dream. Um, we've had some great clients who have invested other life savings and that has multiplied a hundredfold for their children and they've been able to give back to our community and continue to grow things and they've become great friends of ours in the organization, you know. Um, we've seen some, some really difficult stories where people have invested their life savings and have lost it and not done the right thing. And so I feel this burden almost of responsibility to say to someone like that who would come in, are you sure? Do you know what you're doing? Can we make sure that you know what you're getting into and how to make this happen? Because I don't want you to lose your life savings. I don't want my neighbors who have worked for 25 years to save up a lump sum of money to invest in a new business to then forfeit it by not knowing what they're doing. And so it's just, you know, just these little opportunities of being able to be a helpmate for my friends and neighbors, for um, anyone in the city really, but primarily for my neighborhood that I want to be in this work and continue to make it real. Awesome. And what you said really resonates with me because that's one of the reasons also why SCORE mentors mm -hmm. are actually doing what they do. You know, we yeah. give a lot of our time and expertise mm -hmm. to help small business owners because not only, like you said, can you save the entrepreneurs or small business owners some time and money, mm -hmm. but you also tell them that they're not alone in this. You know, there's no reason right. to walk alone, especially when there's somebody like you. There's organizations like you and SCORE right. and GSDC and the city of Chicago has many resources. So thank you so much for sharing that. So in, um, in your work, you know, mm -hmm. what are some of the challenges that you're seeing that businesses face in the city of Chicago? Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that right now actually is a great, great time for business in the city. I think there are a lot of opportunities. I think that um, the mayor has helped to redesign the business affairs and consumer protection, the department at City Hall that helps support businesses in a way that's friendly, much friendlier than I've ever seen it. Um, reducing the number of licenses, making things more affordable, having innovative programs and opportunities. It's a great time yes. right? to, to think about growing a business, starting a business, or expanding your business. It's a really great time. The challenges are still real um, in our communities. There's continues to be disinvestment in infrastructure and, and um, overall retail development in both the west and the southwest sides and that's a challenge because it's affordable property for you to take advantage of but it's difficult to find the right clientele or enough clientele to support your sales and so inevitably just as there always has been throughout time there's risk involved in opening a business and so in chicago you need to understand where the risk is how to mediate against that risk, who is your partner to help you with those things so that you can take advantage of the opportunity while still mediating the risk as much as possible. Um, and I think that, you know, in these uncertain times in our government, as, you know, <laughs> we anticipate a new mayor and the aldermanic spread will change and not really sure what's happening on the federal level all the time, you know, there's a lot level of uncertainty that as a business owner, it becomes more anxiety and more stress and a lot more variables than there has been when government and elected officials are a bit more secure. And so you need to have that understanding, I think, before you go in. And so my caution for any of you mm -hmm. is don't do it alone. <laughs> Agreed. Make sure that you have a great partner. SCORE is a great partner. You know, agencies like ours are great partners. We provide services to all of you for free. You don't have to do this alone. It's not an additional financial burden in any way. Um, and, and that would be my caution. It's just because there are a lot of quickly changing times. Technology changes quickly. You know, and the, the atmosphere we're in will change quickly in the next year. And, and so that would be my only concern. And that's a good point because you got to stay on top of things, yeah. especially with the changes in technology and the advancements right now. So with all the unknown and the risk, can you provide an example of how GSDC may help a startup business? Sure. 
So if you have a dream and you want to come in and talk about your dream, yes. what we want to do is we want to hear your dream. We want to know what is it that you want to get going? What are you passionate about? And um, we want to sit down with you and talk about our roadmap for getting that started and what we call launched. Mm -hmm. And so we want to talk about, do you have financing or do you need to create find financing? Do you understand how to make that product or provide that service with high quality um, and a level of integrity that's going to go and withstand the test of time and criticism from your um, competition? Do you have a plan for employment? Do you have a plan for marketing? You know, all these different things. Historically, that's known as your business plan. We're not interested, however, in having you write a business plan per se. What we want to do is pull out of you that information mm -hmm. that you would nestle in the plan to make sure you know what you're doing, that you have a good understanding. Once that happens, then we can sit down and actually articulate what is the next step on your plan. Do you need to find a location? Do you need to get financing? Do we need to find you some partners for product development or testing or pricing or whatever that landscape is? It's a very one-on-one -on -one technical assistance process for a startup. During that time, we may refer you. We may refer you to any number of our partners, SCORE being one, of course, um, the Community Law Project or Business Affairs and Consumer Protection for your license or um, Axiom Chicago for a small business loan, for example, or many of our other partners, and forgive me if I've forgotten you, but there's many partners that we, were, we may consider referring you to um, depending on where you are, what you know how to do, what you need help getting figured out, and what you're willing to commit to as far as the next step goes. So that's how we would start you know, if you just came in with an idea. Fantastic. And you brought up a good point is that, again, business owners, you don't have to go ahead and do this by yourself or alone because no. there's so many organizations that right. could go ahead and help you out. So now, um, what about for somebody more established? So there's probably a business owner out there that's saying, hey, I've been established. I've been in business for two or more years, sometimes even 10 or 20. Sure. So how does your team assist businesses that are currently operating or are more established? Absolutely. So, um, in a couple of different ways, if you happen to be located on our side of town, what we really want to do is get you involved in the community dialogue. We want to make sure that you understand what's happening in the broader community. You have access to those of us who live there for recruitment's sake and just for understanding of the dynamics of the community, um, how you can get involved or at least understand what's going on. Um, of course, no matter where you are, we have the opportunity to help you fill whatever gaps you think you may have. So if you need financing, we're poised and ready to help you prepare a loan package that you can be prepared to go before any lender, whether it's micro, whether it's a banker, whatever that might be, an SBA loan, for example. As the Illinois Small Business Development Center at Greater Southwest, uh, our staff has the opportunity to connect you with a variety of resources that are offered through the SBA. Um, a small business development center through the state of Illinois has access to resources that I can't even begin to share all of them with you. I mean, there, there is just so many resources that our staff can provide you with. And a level of expertise. Um, we, provide, we get training on how to um, assist a business, how to understand your growth patterns, how to understand what your cycle is, um, your sales and operating cycle, to be able to analyze your finances, determine if you have a need for um, more financing within your business, um, if you want to buy some real estate have the opportunity to determine whether or not you're ready for that and then begin the search, connect you with a broker or an agent or any number of things that you might be interested in. As an expanding business owner, we either can provide you with that TA from in-house or we can provide you with a robust referral to somebody who can make that happen for you. Fantastic. Yeah. And, um, you know, Tina, you and I are big believers in great partnerships to make things mm -hmm. happen. Absolutely. And so big breakthroughs in progress can happen when collaborating with strategic partners toward common goals mm -hmm. and really working together to address these challenges. So in your experience, what does it take for partnerships to succeed? Hmm. So this, I would answer this question whether or not you're a business owner. Um, funny story, I actually had a call from my daughter today who was asking me about this kind of question already. Um, generally speaking, I would say one is you want to make sure that you're able to 
explain exactly what your position is in this collaboration. What do you want to get out of this collaboration? And just in very simple terms, why are you in this? What is it that you're wanting to get out? And what are you willing to contribute? And then secondly is, you know, honesty is always the best policy. Agreed. So coming into a collaboration and trying to pretend that you're more than you are or less than you are or, or um, trying to poise for more is never going to end in a great collaboration. Um, my particular point of view is to um, make sure that I stay as truthful and honest as possible in a collaboration like this and then to also offer more. I, nice. I try to be as sacrificial so that we can create a great connection as possible. Um, if I give more than you're potentially going to give me, I'm happy with that. Um, and in the end, I find that it makes us better friends. It makes us great collaborators. We leave that um, discussion prepared to do quality work together because you have a great sense of my investment in this thing that we're doing together. And that's something that. I want. To, uh, that's something I really want to um, transmit to whoever the partner is, and I hope to get from them at some point. Exactly, and yeah. you want to make sure that you set your expectations, and you know, be clear about that in the beginning, and also just bring value yeah. to each other. And Tina, in helping the business community, the Greater Southwest Development Corporation continues to create these programs mm -hmm. to support business growth. So an example of that is the Chicago Law and Business Academy. Can you elaborate for us? Absolutely. So the Chicago Law and Business Academy is a return for us this year in 2019 to a more formalized offering of classes. So as I said, um, traditionally we provide one-on-one -on -one TA with our businesses mm -hmm. and we will continue to do that. Um, but we want to be able to provide a more formal offering of classes that help our very local, and I mean by local I mean very community-based small business owner, a mom and pop shop if you will, mm -hmm. uh, be able to understand the data that's being generated in their business. And by data I mean um, we're going to offer a whole cohort series right now for the first section of the Business Academy on bookkeeping. And the goal of the bookkeeping is to make sure that people understand how their money is traveling in and out of their business because all of this interaction of the money with the service or the sales that you, that you have, they all provide very valuable data points. And those data points can be used in a way to help you understand what is happening, what is not happening, and how to leverage that for what you really want to be happening in your business. And so uh, I'm afraid many of our businesses are very cash-based. And what we want to do in the, the bookkeeping class is make sure that people can be analytical as well. Gotcha. And so that's going to be the first um, set of cohort classes for the Academy. We will additionally have things that are related to marketing. Of course, we'll have technology. Mm -hmm. um, technology has been a big focus for Greater Southwest in terms of our business uh, trainings. And so we'll have more of that again. And then as the uh, election season comes to fruition, and we'll have an opportunity for folks to meet their newly elected officials and things like that as well. And do you have a target date yet for launch? Is it coming up soon? Yeah, so the first session, the Bookkeeping 101, mm -hmm. our first class will, will start on February the 21st. They'll be every Thursday morning, 8.30 till 10. Gotcha. We're going to keep you for only an hour at the beginning of the day mm -hmm. with an opportunity for you to spend a little time training yourself, spending a little time away from the business to understand what's happening in the business uh, for four weeks. And so we'll end the end of March. Um, and the opportunity is for a short amount of time, only four or five hours over the course of that month, to spend learning a little bit more about um, understanding the data. Definitely worth it. So can you provide our viewers information on additional incentives that small business owners can get and access by working with you? Sure. So Greater Southwest, um, as an organization, we are a delegate agency for the city of Chicago. Basically, all that means is that we're connected with the city in a way that allows us to understand and be intimately connected to their incentives and opportunities. And we want to provide the same to you. And so if you're interested in a city funding opportunity or a procurement opportunity with the city and any of its departments, that's an easy access opportunity that we can provide to you. 
In addition, we are um, connected with the um, state of Illinois, and again, we can provide additional opportunities for you to connect with the state of Illinois for procurement or otherwise. And to those that are interested, what is the best way for them to contact you? Please visit our website, greatersouthwest.org. You'll find a way to contact us there um, through email or phone or otherwise. Well, Tina, thank you so much for being here today and for all you do for our community. Thank you, Hannah. It's been a real treat. Likewise. And to those of you that are watching right now, if you're an established business owner and who likes to volunteer, we are looking for more SCORE mentors. Again, our website is chicago.score.org. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Hannah Fernandez, and we'll see you again next time on SCORE TV.